never getting off track oh! Oh! The usual. I'm gonna smack myself on the old town skin. I'm gonna lose my entire fucking mind because my terabyte thing took 12 hours and I don't have fucking time to wait. God damn it. Yo, I started at fucking, what's it called? Backing up my data last night before I went to sleep. I woke up this morning, said two hours to go. It told me eight hours. It was, the time was not correct. Oh, but my point is, it's a little late this morning. We're getting up. We're getting after it. I had so much energy. I'm ready to go to the gym already, but I had a lot of coffee already, and I already made the two different types of coffee, but I had both. Waiting for this thing to freaking go so I can do my podcast. Nothing like a fucking bottleneck to fucking get your day fucking amped, you know? I'm feeling super lean, as you can tell. Look at these freaking forearms. That's what today's about, Dunk Life Daily. We're on day four out of five out of my best dunk tips. Today's diet, bro. If you've been watching my Instagram, following along, you know I eat the goddamn same thing every day. That's one of my flaws, which I want to get to, which we'll get to. What I want to go over today is um, what, what, what I eat, why I eat it, and what I'm learning and what I'm trying to understand better, and just kind of basics. I am a nutritionist, I am a scientist, I am a doctor, and I know the, everything there is to know about the way everything interacts with every part of your ligaments and your fibers and everything about your body. So everything I say is 100% accurate, everything I say is by the book, everything I say is held in that DSM manual that I think is for psychology, edition five. <sighs> okay, so we're going to start off with the usual because what else is new? The usual is my dinner. It's chicken, quinoa, and avocados. I love it. I eat it the same thing every day, um, but I'm not going to start there actually because that's the end of the night, but I guess I can. I'm all over the place. I have too much energy for this. Whew, this structure is really difficult for me because I did it three days in a row with dunk tips and straight dunk tips and straight, straight information, but I need to sometimes just yell and laugh at things. And I, this is one of those days I'm going to try to get through it. I fuel up the night before with that meal. I like the quinoa cause it's healthy carbs. The first part of my diet, when I f- really started getting strict was I cut out gluten and processed breads and sugars. The main thing was the processed breads. I was eating a ton of pasta, a ton of bread for with hamburgers and sandwiches. And that helped me a lot. Um, I felt like my gut got a lot healthier. I learned that about gluten and the processed breads, the simple carbs really destroy your gut lining. So the basis of all, everything I eat is to keep my gut healthy. And I also do intermittent fasting, which is I stop eating around 10 o'clock at night and I don't eat till about noon. It's about 12 to 16 hours. You don't want to go more than 16 hours because then it's kind of messes with your metabolism. It starts to kind of say, oh, we're not eating. Okay, we're going to hold on to everything we eat next. So you want to have a fasting period to kind of reset your gut biome, but you don't want to go too long. So doing that 12, 16 hour fasting is perfect. I feel great on it. So I'm going to go off on a little bit on intermittent fasting, why I like it. I fuel up the night before a ton. Uh, I guess I go up what I fuel up with. Um, whew, starting with how this is how my day goes. Um, in the, I fuel up the night before and I eat my chicken, my quinoa, avocados. I might be adding more fats more recently just to try how, how Jesus Christ, try that out with avocados and more eggs just because I think fats are a little bit better for explosive activity. That's currently what I'm trying to learn and experiment with my body. Um, And the reason for that is because carbs are great, but they might be a little bit more endurance and you still need carbs, but maybe not as much as I'm eating. And I might can add substitute with more fats, but I'll keep you in tune and keep you up to date with how I feel about that. So I fuel up with that chicken, quinoa, avocado, eggs, and some sweet potato too for more carbs. And I fuel up a huge dinner before I go to sleep. Um, And then when I wake up, I don't eat anything. I just have black coffee. I feel great. And as I wake up, what I love about the intermittent fasting is I wake up super awake. As you can tell, my energy gets just rises from there and I feel great. I feel light. I feel like an attack mode and I could go to the gym anywhere from like nine in the morning till the afternoon, even to the evening. Sometimes in the afternoon, if I, if my workouts in the evening, like five or six, I'll have like a small lunch, which I do anyway, oatmeal, bananas, some fruits, things like that. Something super light, but I keep it so light because I always feel active. It's almost like I just put a little bit of embers into the fire of my stomach and then I stay active. I feel light. I feel great. I feel mentally clear as well. I don't wake up sluggish. If I woke up and ate a huge breakfast, I'd feel like laying back down. That's me though. And that's what I love about it. And also the other thing about the intermittent fasting that's really helped me mentally going into a dunk session 
is before that it was like, oh, I need to eat a big meal to have fuel for the session just before the session, like two hours before. And then that way I could be fully digested, have all that energy and have a great session. But I, if for any reason, say I got stuck in traffic, say I had anything to do, that window would be like, oh shoot, I have to eat again or I'm not, or if I ate too much and it was too close to my session, I'd feel too full. So it was a really small window of when I could perform. Now with the intermittent fasting, I fuel up the night before and the rest of the, the whole next day, I feel like I can start my workout at any time and I feel like I warm up super quick. I feel super light. I feel great. I just love the consistency of my energy to put it simply. Um, so anyway, say I'm working out in the morning, I'll just have black coffee, maybe some fruits on the way to the gym just to get a little energy burst, but usually nothing. And then I have my workout and post-workout. I like to have my lunch. And and this goes, if I have my workout after uh, in the evening as well, I just have some oatmeal for digestion and my metabolism. It's good for me, um, with some fruits. That's always what I have for lunch, different variety of fruits. Um, and then I have my veggie drink usually in the afternoon, which is spinach, cucumber, kale, um, ginger root. Turmeric powder. There's an R in the, after the U, and that's there's. I guess there's two ways to spell it, but I, there's a debate going on. I'm on the turmeric side instead of turmeric. And then I have uh, black pepper with that too. Something I learned is that you need black pepper to absorb the turmeric. I don't really know. Also, a thing of sugar-free Jello for the collagen um, and coconut water. And is there anything else? And then some flax seeds and chia seeds as well. So. All those type of things. I don't really know all the details, even though I'm a certified nutritionist. I'm not. I'm just kidding. It sounded too official. Um, the, all those things, I need to get my source of veggies, and it's good to chew them so it makes it thick. I don't really care how it tastes. That's what this whole thing is. I'm strict dunk life with all my food. I mean, with the veggie drink. The, the, the dinner I have, I actually love to make it. I love to eat it. It tastes good every single time, but it is the same thing every day. So I have the veggie drink, and then later in the night, I fuel up again. Same thing chicken, quinoa, avocados, sometimes some ground beef, sometimes some like burger meat, sometimes Ezekiel bread, but that's like the scope of everything I eat. And then the fruits of the variety. And sometimes for dessert, I have little like almond, uh, almond butter with an apple and dark chocolate is my dessert. That's it. I don't really have any other sugars besides the fruits, but the one flaw in my diet is the variety. I think I do need more variety just to keep my body guessing and keep it working because if you just give it the same thing, you're kind of limiting what it can handle. So it's good to kind of keep pushing it. I do have cheat snacks here and there to keep my metabolism like working, you know, because if you only give it really good things, that's not good either. It's not good to be extreme. It's good to have moderation of everything, I believe. So that's what I'm working with now is more variety. Now, why the the biggest takeaways from this is the body, your body is different. Everybody's body is different. Some people need a lot of carbs. Some people need no carbs. Some people need a lot of fats. Some people need no fats. Do what works for you. My goal is to have consistent, high energy, good recovery, and stay as lean as possible. Um, and for me, another mindset type of thing is that my desire to perform is so high that it's not, this is not a struggle to eat like this. It's a struggle when it starts to figure out what works. Like when I cut out bread, I was like, what the hell fuck do I eat? But once I found something easy to make that I really enjoy, it's simple now. And I actually like it more making the same thing every day because I don't have to think about it. I can make, I can meal prep for a few days. If I don't meal prep, I know exactly how to cook it. It's super easy to cook. I enjoy it. And it just takes so much. I have so many other things I'd rather use my energy for, my mental energy for, that that's become a known in my world, my subconscious. I don't have to think about it. It's great. So I'm constantly learning about what works for my body, what I'm missing. Um, The fruits was one of them. I might add some more... uh, supplements. The only supplements I take right now, creatine at night, because I've heard it helps your sleep and amino acids are really big. So before a workout, sometimes during a workout, that's the other thing I want to add. I want to add some kind of nutritional shake during a workout, like maybe an amino acid drink so that my, my body can perform the best during, because right now I basically have nothing in the morning for that. So I think I'm going to add that. Um, but try out these different things. My biggest thing is cutting out the simple, simple carbs, processed foods, and sugars. If you cut all those out, you're, I feel like you're already in 95% health of what you're doing because that'll be huge. I feel the leanest ever. Look at this. Look at this. I'm looking on the podcast right now. Look at that. This is fucking lean, bro. I'm feeling super lean, especially because I dunked on Thursday. I feel super contracted, feel really great, super light, super athletic, and I'm in my elastic phase, so it's even more pronounced, but I'm feeling the most lean ever. Plus I'm learning about my body. Every time I lift, I'm thinking about that mind body connection. So it just feels really great. And my energy is super high and my 
my consistency. The biggest thing is the consistency. Before this, before I was on a strict diet, my consistency was up and down. Some days I'd feel energy. Sometimes I'd feel sluggish, like cramping in my stomach, like I had too much food. Sometimes I'd feel like lightheaded. None of that anymore. Health, that's the biggest part of the health that's helped me feel really good. And I'm sleeping really, really well. So that's my nutrition tips. Um, if you want more of like your own diet plan, I can help you out with that. But I like it's, it's working for me. I love the intermittent fasting. I feel like it's really helped my gut feel really healthy. Um, and like I said, I wake up great, have the black coffee. So I don't, uh, start my metabolism, metabolism, things like that. But on vacation, I had breakfast every, every morning and it was, it was a good like uh, break from all those type of things. But you can also have the cheap meals that, um, Keep your keep your body guessing. So that's that's the total of it. Let's that's it. That's it. I'm gonna, I'm fucking losing my mind a little bit. Let's go to the fucking on the day in history because I know it's your favorite part. It's what the part you always wait for. Today's August 10th, 612 BC. Killing of Sinshrashikan, king of Assyrian Empire. Destruction of Nineveh. Was that even a sentence? Or was just just a few facts. Um. Oh shit. Oh no. T- 1497. John Cabot tells King Henry the seventh of his trip to Asia. All right. Ooh, now 1846, U.S. Act of Congress passes establishing the Smithsonian Institution, now world's largest museum and research complex. Um, Wolfgang Amadeus, 1787, completes his chamber piece, Lein Klein Nach Musik. Cool. There's no sports today? No sports? Let's see. Nothing good. 1934, Babe Ruth announces that his final season as a full-time player. There's nothing cool in sports today. Anyway, every day's history. Why don't you make some history today, goddammit? By the way, if you want to support me, all the links below and all the different ways you could support your boy. I really appreciate it. Bro, this has been so much fun. If you haven't seen the freaking mega vlog, go check that out. I'm dunking today. I don't know if I'm dunking, but I'm going to hoop today. I have some friends hooping, so I'm going to film some games. So that should be super fun. I might get a new car today too, or soon. So stay tuned for that. It'd be really fun. I'm also posting a lot of my YouTube stories. I'm starting to utilize that more. So that's a lot of fun. Um, sneak peeks there that are only on YouTube because I want to I wanna make my YouTube fan the priority. All right, so last, uh, what's it called? Dunk Lifer of the Day, Rap Zombie says, is it smart to do many strength phases? I have basketball two times a week and additional basketball practice. I'm taking basketball pretty seriously, the history of knee pain, blah, blah, blah. Many strength, it's really hard to do a strength phase during your season unless you want to sacrifice some of your athleticism. The best is to do your strength phases off season. And the other thing is that last, uh, I was said I might do strength phases more in depth. I'm losing my mind. I got to get through these dunk tips fives and then I might come back to more detailed if you need it, but that's my best tips. I listened to it. Those are my best tips. It's an overview. That's what I'm good at. I know I said I'm an expert. I'm not, I'm not a detailed expert. The expert thing that I think is working with you individually. If you want to be a dunk lifer, bro, we review videos there too. I review videos. If you're a dunk lifer, $30 a month, I review a video every month and you get my program every month. You can get phase one of the program right now and start tomorrow freaking monday let's go it's sunday but you know what i mean started on a monday so keep it fresh that's it and that's it for today i'm out of here i gotta get to the gym if you can't tell thank you for everything we're almost we're creeping on 30k let's go all right toodaloo that's young life oh that's the anthem right there tried to make an intro ended up making an anthem oh